one that has often sucked people in from non-violence to violence, that is overpowering moderate voices within the debate, and which can gain traction because of issues of identity and failures of integration. David Cameron knows this speech won't go down well with everybody. For those who are suspicious of his motivations, it's likely to be seen as an attempt to limit free speech, to stifle debate, to try to impose the Prime Minister's world view on people who may see things rather differently. And so, within the Muslim community, expect a wide range of reactions. Some applaud the speech, saying politicians have been too timid in challenging extremist ideas that fall short of violent action. He's at pains to make it very clear that not all Muslims subscribe to the Islamist ideology, but by naming the Islamist ideology, we understand those who believe essentially in imposing one form of religion over the rest of society, manifested in the form of a caliphate. He's naming those people who have those beliefs so that we can know who to challenge. Others believe the speech will be counterproductive. And the vast majority of the Muslim community see um, David Cameron, his government and his policies as uh, being at the forefront of alienating them, demonising them and um, pushing them into a corner. All David Cameron's talk of a generational struggle, a full 